And I just want to explain what, what went down with um, uh, Larry Taylor and the DPO and this delegate selection plan really quick, okay? Larry did a great job of detailing it in an email. The problem is, is that I think a lot of the SEC members and a lot of other people just like it glaze over at the knowledge because what it comes down to is violations of bylaws and everybody's like, oh God, who cares? But the, the concept of democracy requires that we follow rules. That's kind of the problem we're having right now at the very top. And that problem exists all the way down to the very bottom. When you have chairs that just refuse to follow the rules. And, and the previous chair didn't follow the rules. And I was hoping when we elected this chair, she'd follow the rules. But she's not. She's just doing what the previous chair did. The, the most important fact that everybody has to understand is the delegate selection plan was supposed to be crafted by the rules committee because they're a standing committee that in our bylaws says they have the that's their job okay the only time they shouldn't be crafting this plan is if there is an emergency an emergency where the state central committee can't meet now understand that in order for the rules committee to meet they usually meet as a standing committee within quarterly state central committee meetings okay so Unless the state central committee doesn't have a quarterly meeting, which hasn't happened, there is no emergency and there's no reason for the rules committee not to work on the plan. It's their job. That's in the bylaws. There's no other interpretation of that. The emergency never existed because there was no emergency. The SEC had quarterly meetings and that's all it takes. Okay. None of those quarterly meetings were canceled. None of them were missed. All right. There were no emergencies during those times. All right. The whole premise of the delegate selection plan committee that was created illegally by the executive committee and handpicked the people for that committee was that there was an emergency. Therefore, everything else that follows was a violation and illegal because the committee that was created shouldn't have been created. That's all that everybody needs to understand. All right. So when the chair of the Democratic Party says we reviewed Larry's you know, stuff point by point and our parliamentarian says there were no violations, then I say that she's blind and so is a parliamentarian and they're full of shit. All right. Larry is a registered parliamentarian. That means he knows the bylaws. He knows Robert's rules. The tests are extensive. Makes the SATs look easy. All right. I know because I listened to Larry talk about it and sweat bullets for weeks and weeks and weeks. So he knows what he's talking about. And anybody who can read the bylaws can pretty much figure it out. They're not written, you know, in some crazy language. All right. The rights of the state central committee members to debate, amend and vote on the 2020 delegate selection plan were violated by illegally substituting the executive committee to approve the plan for the state central committee. It's not their job. In addition, the rights of the State Central Committee and Congressional District Committee delegates were violated by not allowing the DPO Rules Committee, comprised of delegates elected from all five congressional districts, to write the delegate selection plan because it's their fucking job. There was no emergency. There was no reason for the Executive Committee to do what they did. Everything else they did, therefore, is null and void. So this plan shouldn't even move forward. Yet it is the plan. We now have to appeal. Do you know who we appeal this plan to? Two people. I don't remember the first person's name. It doesn't really matter. The second person is the roadblock. Donna fucking Brazil. Donna Brazil is still on the rules committee of the Democratic Party at the national level. She's also a Fox News pundit because there's no conflict of fucking interest there. So the Democratic Party of Oregon basically is a joke at this point. Unless the SEC chooses to stand up, use its authority, hold the chair and the executive committee accountable, back Larry Taylor in his evidence. All right, and in the letters, he details, he lists, here's the bylaw, here's what it says. All right, there's no interpretation of these things. In the letter, you know, and here's here's the, the all of the all of the violations are in the slides. But in, in the letter response from Casey Hansen, because they, they these went out publicly. All right. 
this is how she starts it. She says, and one more thing. This is, in a pub, this is an email sent out to all the SEC members, a bunch of people. And one more thing before we all see each other in Prineville, which is where they are right now. They're all voting on this bullshit plan. All right. It says, many of you may have received an email from Lawrence Taylor regarding the 2020 delegate selection plan, DSP, in which he cites various violations. Some of you may have even seen a prior press release in which he outlined similar complaints, because Larry's been on this for months. All right. We have addressed these issues multiple times, not with the SEC, who is your fucking authority. All right. And please note, our DPO parliamentarian, who's not a registered parliamentarian, doesn't know as much as Larry, reviewed each of Mr. Taylor's earlier complaints for any possible bylaws violations and found none. Well, I just found one. Pretty fucking easy. You declared an emergency, created an illegal committee, and allowed that committee to write the plan, bypassing the rules committee, whose job it was, was to write the plan. There was no emergency. That's a violation. And anybody with half a fucking brain cell can see that, Casey Hansen. So you're a liar. And I'm calling you a liar publicly, and I'm calling your parliamentarian a liar publicly, because it's time we take the gloves off and address shitty Democrats publicly. I look forward to your response. I look forward to you resigning as the chair because I'm going to do everything in my power to make that happen. We need some accountability within the DPO and with all of our Democratic Party members. And the only way to do that is to get in their face, is to call them out when they do shit like this. Those of you who say, oh, you're being contentious. This doesn't feel comfortable and we're supposed to be lovey and huggy. We got five years to put in a decent government or we're going to die. I don't got time to deal with Casey's petty power plays. We don't have time to deal with anybody's petty power plays. So let's stop being nice. <laughs> let's start fucking doing democracy, which is dirty. It hurts. It's hard work. And it means standing up for what is right. Something Democrats seem to have forgotten how to do.